Hello everybody, we are back at it once again. For you guys that don't know who I am, I am Yu-Gi-Oh! Hero and this is the fucking World Championship Celebration Champ. For y'all who don't know what the hell this is, um, the World's, World Champs just took place on, what, Saturday? What was the date on Saturday? What was the date? On the 4th. We had a world championship that took place. And so my locals, my OTS store did a world championship celebration, which is basically like a locals version of the world championship. You know, played by the band list. You play the meta that's there. And we actually took first place. For you guys that don't believe me, just by looking at the pictures and the thumbnail, of course. For you guys that don't believe me, here is the mat. Yeah, this is first place map right here. And I also got the deck divider and I got the um, Blue Eyes World Championship 2018 promo which I will show. Now for you guys that have been waiting for the giveaway, the winner will be announced at the end of this video. So just stay tuned, get through this whole deck profile and yeah, let's see how the, let's see what I was playing guys, let's see what I was playing. So I'll see you guys at the little deck profile section. And we are here with the deck profile for my world, my first place world championship celebration um, deck. And um, this is my promo right here, my blue eyes. And then this is my um, deck divider, which is um, what top eight got, but first place got the mat. So blue eyes is really nice. I like it. I like the blue eyes and it's worth a lot too. I looked it up on eBay. I didn't think it was worth that much once I won it. I was like, what is this? Is it worth anything? They're like, no. I look it up, it's 200 bucks. So it's pretty funny. Um, so all right, deck profile it is. So people wouldn't expect, well people expect one guy to play this, but they didn't expect me to play this. So we are playing Spiral, straight up Spirals. Which is kind of weird because Terraforming at one, you kind of want to see your last resort, but it's all good. So we start off with three Super Agents, three Spiral Tufts, and that was it for the three ups, the more non hand traps, really. Uh, one Quick Fix, one Drone, and one Master Plan. Master Plan was actually more alive than anything because Ash is at 2 on the world's man list so you wouldn't really have to get worried that much about getting Ash or anything I think the only hand trap I got hit by was Droll so it was pretty funny and then for our two our final one ups is Last Resort and Sleeper almost every time I come close to making a Sleeper I had someone say let's go to game 2 or you got it because they you just can't pass Sleeper especially Goki players if you make your board first they, you're just gonna pop what they make, you know. So that's it for the spirals. For the hand traps, we're running two ashes because it's at two. I would run it at three if it was still at three. We're running two drolls because droll is really good against go keys. We're running two ogres because ogres are still a good hand trap, especially in this and like the go key matchup. You kind of want to see as much hand traps as possible and two effect veilers. So I did make this build going for going second. I always like chose to go second with no worries about any go keys trying to do anything or any of that. So it came it came in handy, you know. And we're running that one Ibli because this is a nightmare build, of course, because that's what makes spirals even more alive. And for our spell cards, we are running. One big red, one assault, one terraforming, one resort, and one pseudo space. Now I didn't get to play pseudo space there because I just chose. I opted not to. I said, "Eh, I don't feel like playing this card. We're already in good shape. We're about to kill him off, probably." Which I usually put him down to a hundred life points. Or even I would down them all the way to zero, of course. So, for our non-spiral cards, for our three ups, 
three called by the graves just in case those hand traps because hand traps do affect this deck really bad which I don't think I hit a hand trap with this before I think I hit I hit a Goki card that they're trying to choose for Goki rematch I hit that but I don't think I ever hit a hand trap with called by the grave yet three foolish burial goods usually I would run it at two but you kind of want to see all your combo plays early on and like I said if you don't open up a spiral or you only open up one spiral monster what you can do and this is the best thing to do is um do what I do and I send a salt to the graveyard because if I open up um, a spiral a spiral monster another one that's like not a super agent or I already have one in hand and I miss the call it's like you can just banish it and special it. I do that every single time so that way I can make my double helix for guaranteed. Um, two twin twisters because of back row just in case we ever ran against ultra guys which shockingly I didn't I didn't even run against ultra guys. I didn't even run against them. For our one ups, the one of star goblin just for the extra draw we like to draw for reinforcement of the army I didn't even see reinforcement of the army the whole day either and that's weird because you usually see that card out of like there's five rounds you usually see it <laughs> one for one I only saw one for one um late game where it was the only card in my hand and it's like I don't even matter I'm in a winning situation one monster reborn and then one foolish burial because foolish burial is always good in this deck you can just send your quick fix to the graveyard as long as you got a super agent on the field or in the hand you can just summon the super agent quick fix the effect discard a card and a special him and then get your search out for um last resort or big red but i would go for last resort because quick fix gets banished after that and then for our trap cards we got the two mission rescues so that's gonna round it up for that. It's kind of funny, like I said, Master Plan is more live than anything because you'd always you have less fear going into double helix when Ash is at two, to be honest. So for our side, we run two winter chairs, and we only run one more draw and one effect able to make it three up. I actually did winter cherries that um, Noble Knight link or what is it? Is Dell? I don't even know how to save the Noble Knight Link monster. They let you get the continuous stuff that Goku uses, but I did hit someone with that, and they had to try to go into their nightmare stuff to try to work around it. But at the end of the day, I still won because when Last Resort's hooked to Sleeper, Last Resort's effect can trigger to destroy one of your other spiral cards to make Sleeper attack directly. So if you ever had to push for game, that's the best way to do it. So. Now we got two shared rides, two mind control for going second. I didn't see, I think I saw shared ride against a Goki matchup, and shared ride really did help. Even if they special summon or search ones, I got that extra one card. Mind control, I didn't even use. Actually, I did. I played Christrons in my first game. That was my first matchup, was Christrons. And I played them, and basically what happened was they made their little synchro monster, and once they did that, I uh, mind controlled it, which was really pretty clutch. And then I just used it for one, three red reboots, just in case we went against Alter guys, two infinites just for the extra um, negates, and then two Psalm strikes for going first. Now, the funny thing is, I didn't call by the grave a hand trap, but I did saw him strike um, a Joel and Lockbird for the spiral matchup when I went against a mirror. Now, for our extra deck, we run two double helix for the budget players. I mean, double helix is a $4 card now. For the budget players, you can only, you really just need one. I only made one throughout the whole day. The whole day. Um, one unicorn. Unicorn is pretty clutch for you to just recycle your um, Spiral Resort back through your deck so you can get Master Plans off. Master Plans effect off, I should say. Nightmare Mermaid, you always want to go into it after Unicorn so that way you can special your Ibli from deck. It's funny because I opened up two games in a row with the Ibli in my hand so that play wasn't live. 
one goblin. It gives you additional um, normal sum to the arrows he points to. Now it's funny. I got some monsters. I got. I had to get rid of some monsters. So I could put enough spiral cards in the graveyard for um, sleepers. So I made um, goblin into the um, extra monster zone, and I de I discarded for cause because you can still discard, but you just can't get that additional normal sum because there's no zones open for normal sum. But you can discard for cause. So if you need to pitch your card, you got you have your chance. And the Nightmare Cerberus and the Nightmare Phoenix. And for the last one, this is the one I didn't even make, was um, Griffin. Griffin is good to have, but actually I did make Griffin once. I made Griffin against Gokies again. And it kind of fucked him up because I had an arrow point down, but none toward them. So I had Griffin hooked to the arrow point down on my side. So that way, none of their monsters got the effects, and it was, he was struggling. One Trigate Wizard, because you want to make your Trigate board, you get a free negate. I did that once, out of um, the day. So I, I won without even having to go into Trigate as much. One Borload. Borload came in handy. I went against an Invoke matchup, and they made Borload and took my Sleeper. They made the mistake because they blew up my Sleeper, and the Sleeper's effect triggered from my side. So all my cards got wiped, and I got special summon a double helix after he declared the attack and every or after he attacked. So when it came to my turn, I was able to get two monsters out to um, go into Borload and Borload his Borload and win the game. And then Saruja, Saruja, you just get to draw four. I did that once when I didn't need to because I was in good shape, but I wanted to see a hand trap so that way I can stop their plays. Um, one Deco Talker, is Deco's Deco. One Trisbania for the back row. Didn't make it once. One Link Aribo. And then the one winner cherry target was um, the Noble Knight. And that's it for the extra. So guys, that is the Spiral Deck profile right there. And for our next, I guess you could say, segment, we're going back to the computer screen to figure out who won the giveaway, guys. So I hope you did enjoy this deck profile, guys. It really did work for the world. I felt like it was pretty solid. I consistently went into double helix. There's some breaks, but we still came back and won and went undefeated. Hey everybody, we are back here once again. This is for the um, giveaway winner right here. And as you can see, all y'all's names have been entered that did the um, fill out for the form. And I went back through and I entered everyone that did the follow. On Twitch and everyone that subscribed to my other channel so your name is entered up to three times if you did that and yeah you guys ready for it let's get a drum roll real fast and the winter or winner will be Alrighty guys, so a little bit of disclaimer before I announced the winner. I did figure out how to say his name because I went back over it while editing and yeah. So I'm sorry if I slandered your name. Don't get mad at me all Naruto fans. Don't come whoop my ass. So yeah, <laughs> let's get back to the winner. However, it shall be 69. I don't know how to say that shit. But you are the winner. I will be getting in contact with you by the time this video is uploaded to let you know that you are the winner. So guys, that is it. If you guys want to be into another giveaway, let's get to 100 subscribers. Even on my other channel, I'm going to do a giveaway once I hit 100 subscribers on there. So if you guys do like that giveaway idea, let's get to 100. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.